Gerald Carnahan's murder trial and more testimony today from witnesses for the prosecution. Many of today's questions focused on where Carnahan's truck was located the night 20 year old Jackie Johns of Nixa was killed back in 1985. KY3 Sarah Forhas was in the courtroom in St. Louis County again today. She's live there tonight with more details. Yeah, Ethan Marie, the state calling more witnesses today and cross-examination actually got a little heated and interesting today. First of all, we'll start off with the first witness who is called Alan Waller. He actually worked with Carnahan for a while uh, back in the 80s. That is how he knew him. Uh, he was testifying today that he, in fact, did see Carnahan's truck parked along Highway 160, which is where Jackie went missing from uh, on June 17th. He said also later that night that he saw Carnahan in his truck alone in that area. So it looked like things were all lining up for the state until the cross-examination, at which point uh, the defense team pointed out that he was on drugs, heavy drugs, cocaine and marijuana and alcohol, and admitted to using them a lot. Yeah, the defense also pointed out that back in 1986, uh, Alan Wallard evidently admitted today for the first time on the stand that he lied to the grand jury back then up to seven times about his drug use. So then uh, in the states, when they came back and were able to redirect, they point out that uh, nowadays he says for sure that he knows who it was, what was going on, and the only thing he ever lied about uh, in the state's opinion was about his drug use, not about uh, the events of what he saw that night. Up next, a man named Wade Pierce. He also testified to seeing Carnahan's truck uh, along and near where Jackie was found. Uh, they also cross-examined him, saying, back in 85, we are questioning what you're saying because you told the grand jury you weren't so sure that it was Gerald Carnahan's truck. And then uh, he, why are you so sure nowadays? Up next was Kenny Carnahan, perhaps the most interesting witness of the day because this was someone that the state just subpoenaed. You could tell he was definitely not happy to be there. Kenny being the brother of Gerald Carnahan in 86, he actually told officers, which is what the state was pointing out today, uh, that his brother, Gerald told him not to ever tell anyone that he saw his truck uh, in the area on that day. And uh, he wasn't happy about it, but uh, he was there today on a subpoena. And then lastly uh, was Tom Martin. He is a retired lieutenant with the Highway Patrol. He was, uh, at the time, helped process that car, helped take pictures of the scene. Uh, and he is still on the stand right now as we speak. He was collecting evidence. They actually today, for the first time, brought out some of those bags of evidence that have been preserved since 85, including the car jack that is believed to be used uh, that killed Jackie, that hit her in the head with the blood and the hair, all the pictures of that. Then they even had actual evidence, the bags brought out of the jeans, the shirt, the bra, the underwear, everything she was wearing. Uh, Tom Martin testifying that yes, he collected that evidence. Yes, it was in his custody until he turned it over to the Springfield Crime Lab. Uh, we got to sit through about 15 minutes of the cross-examination. The defense team saying yes, but once you left the department, because he did retire eventually, uh, that you know, that evidence went to three other departments, including uh, to Texas for a short stint. So they're really questioning, you know, how uh, well that was preserved and uh, how that will play into court. And the jury's mind is yet to be determined, guys.